All right, in this one, I look around for a place with a nice pocket to sift, and I'm looking below these cut banks along the Ohio River. And I'm using my box sifter right there on my kayak, that green thing, and I'm feeling in here with my shovel for Indian artifacts that have eroded out of this bank on these Indian camps, and I do real good. I find several artifacts just right here in this video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> kayak in my truck I find places with that mokai and then I just drive to him instead of wasting the gas in the mokai plus the truck and you know just driving I'm right here I can walk right to the shore and I don't have to even fart with the boat and when these places get died down I will and I'm not finding much which they'll get like that after I sift enough then I will uh, go into mokai and look for new places go sift them it's just what I do but I'm looking at a lot of the same places over and over. See, I'm way above the river. Look how high up I am. I can get in and there and sift by this bank. See, right there's that bank I come down. It's all grown up. But right here at the base of it, like I always do, I feel all kinds of rock in there. I'm scooping it up into my screen. And when I get, see, looks like good material. And what I'm looking for on this site is Flint Ridge points. There should be Flint Ridge flakes all in my screen. That's why I come to these places. I like the nice material. The nicer the material, the better. If I'm seeing flakes of real good stuff. This is that last screen. I just picked the flakes out. This is why I'm here. Look at some of this material. Look at this stuff right here. Imagine a real nice little point out of that. Wow. Stuff glows. And this is real translucent. Look at that stuff. Just jewel grade material. If I find a point here, a little one, it's going to be nice walk down in there I'm finding flakes but it's just there's not much of a layer and it's a dead place where I'd have to stand eight hours to maybe get a clip so I'm gonna go to a better place up further up the river put my kayak in and I'll get back when I get out there Later. there's railroad tracks all along the river and most of them run within like I don't know 40 yards of the river or even closer you can walk them and get to say cheesy that's what I did in this video parked up here in a parking lot, walk down the road, trash to an Indian site. Go up and do it again, put it in my kayak. Alright, I have lots of options on this stretch of river. And, I don't know, 95% of the time I find something. These are these big mud flats. There's some nice stuff here. It's kind of hard to find, but there's enough of it that if I move around, I can go all the way up the river for about two miles and then down the other side four or five miles and have a chance at an artifact the whole way. It's just good everywhere and you see this. The water goes clear up to the base of the bank. You could never surface hunt it. Like I found one point laying out here and it was where I cleared the logs away and sifted and boat waves hit it and the next day I came back and there was a point laying out. The only one ever. Um, that's just how it is on places like this but right in here I found points several beauties i'm gonna look around here a little bit if i don't find nothing i'll go further up the shore i move around constantly to make these videos um like an amos site this time of year if i'd go to an amos site and try to sift i go to them it's just you ain't finding much this time of year on an amos site i hope for one nice one all summer that's just about how it is but i'm gonna look around and see if i can't come up with a nice bird point or something later holy crap this took my breath away I see a nice knife or something in here. It's just awesome. I've never found anything like it. I'm looking at it here. It's upper Mercer. But look at that. You can't get a read from them. There's an old, probably paper shotgun shell, but holy crap. I thought this layer felt pretty good. You can see, see right there, fired rock right out of this cup. Holy crap, this looks thin. I don't even know what the heck to see it. 
right here. What, uh, that looks old. What in the, it's ground. What in the heck is that? Well, after looking at this piece, the material, it's got late basil grinding in here, laid on the, real late on the base touch, and up this side. I think that's a lancelet, like a, an Ohio lancelet. Pretty decent. You know, in a frame with other lances, that's a pretty good one. No damage, it's just pretty nice. Later. See, here's the screen with this that I found that point. You can see it. Lots of cracked up fire rocks, and you want to be seeing that. Lots of little tiny finishing flakes. See that? That's from the manufacturer of ancient artifacts right there. A piece like I just found that was nice. So there's more stuff here, and we know there is. This is a good sight. You know, this stretch of river, I got another point already. You know, I was on that first place for like 45 minutes, come up here within an hour, I got two points, there's flakes in every screen. Let's go up here, it's a little pentagonal. And it's made of just jewel grade material. It's nothing but that ain't bad. The first point was exceptional. Right there. It's a little pentagonal. But the material makes it. It's got like a, see how it's got like a little tool tip on it? It's just amazing material. Let me put these flakes in my pocket here. I'll show you all the flakes at the end. But look at this. Look at that material. Holy crap, that's sick. That's sick material. It looks like a nice, dirty ice cube. That's a cool little point. Number two. I think I'm going to stop it on this one. Well, there's that point from the last clip on a on a flashlight. You can see it's pretty pretty nice material, to say the least. It's a pentagonal with a little tool tip on it. It's a very cool piece. Very cool little piece. It's almost like a little twist drill type deal. Later. All right, here's some of the flakeage I got out of here. Some church, but. A lot of that that's stained up there is translucent. There's a black flake and there's some black and some opaque stuff, but a lot of it's real nice, little finishing flakes. Um, but I wanted to show you that later. You know, I'm back home from the river and look here. Escobar's back under the porch. They're eating corn chips and that bubblegum cereal. <laughs> They're back under there. Yeah, you know, I just got in here to film Squirrel Man, and he grabbed a grape and went in his house. Look here, he's eating grapes in the Squirrel Mansion. He's still in his little Debbie box. He hasn't chewed this one up. Look at him, oh, buddy. He's doing good. He's want you want this grape too? You want that one? You want both of them? Look at him. He likes them white grapes. He loves them. He'll eat both of them completely. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's my pet squirrel. He'll be back in more videos. Later.